Let's make our river full of water beetles, just like the story my river shows. So we need our ocean water. I'm first going to make the water. You can't really see it, but I am painting with water. And you see it a little bit, makes the paper soak it up. And then, once I have made my wet water for my river, I'm going to use some watercolors. This is called liquid watercolor, but you can use other kinds of watercolor. And I am going to go over my wet part and let it let it look like a wet surface, like an ocean. Let's try some blue. Maybe a little more there, and I'll put a teeny bit of green. Sometimes the water does have different colors in it. Sometimes there's some seaweed at the bottom. And then if you want to, you can soak some of that up with a paper towel if it makes some big puddles so that it will dry better for you to use, make your water beetles. My paper towel is beautiful too, do you see that? Now, we can take a little time to let it dry, or you can make your beetles float at the top of your river, and it just takes your thumb. We put our thumb in our black paint, that's called tempera paint, and we put our beetle on top of our water. If you have a sort of dry spot in your watercolor, let's try putting one down here. Do you see that I'm going down into the water? That worked pretty well. Let's put one down here. Maybe we have room for a few more. And then you will need to wipe your thumb off and take a black marker. I'm using a Sharpie. And how many legs does a beetle have? All insects have six legs. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. And you can finish your whole river with water beetles with their six legs. And after it's dried, you can hang it up and you will have a river in your house. I hope you try to do this at home.